know the people, they know this thing. People champing, I am on the scene. More refreshing than some Listerine. Stylish, polish, but my shit is clean. I know the so the first game I want to talk about, I want to talk about the best game that I've seen uh, in the last couple of days. Dallas versus the Clippers. Woo! And I, I caught the game late. And so I seen that they weren't playing with the port. The port was out of order today. And they still came out to win. Uh, they were up 12 with uh, nine minutes ago, And then the Clippers came back and... Um, took the lead and they went over to overtime but Luca did something dirty. Oh my god, he can, he with the uh 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 take it home with you. <laughs> Nothing but net. I hey, I I got out the house. I ran out the house and made a call. I said, "Luca, y'all better watch out. Y'all better watch out. He might be something to deal with. The playoffs ain't even over." And if he if they come out and beat the uh, Cat, uh Clippers, it might be an O V. I don't I don't care. It might be O V. That means over. If you don't know what O V means, cause that boy is something different. That boy is something different. They call Port a unicorn. That that man is a mythical god. That man is a mythical creature. This man, that man, cool hand Luke. That that man is something different. Uh, but let's get into uh, the Sixers and Celtics. Uh, the Celtics, they swept my boys. Um, I think they definitely deserve that. Last year, you go so far uh, in the playoffs, you know, with the great team, and then you lose some key players because of you probably should have let go of the coach. But you lose and you get swept, like, under the rug. Like, you don't even matter. You get swept. Not a gentleman sweep. Y'all don't win one game. Y'all get swept. You know, so, and after the game, I read, I seen an article where Joel B said he's contemplating his future in Philly. I would too. I would too. So if they don't fire Brett Brown, I would really contemplate leaving. If they don't find out what they're going to do with Ben Simmons, like is he going to play the four or what, is he going to shoot? I would leave. Tobias Harris isn't enough. Al Horford didn't do anything. Um, all the other reasons that it's time to make a real adjustment and bring in a real coach to make the right culture so you guys can actually put yourself in the best opportunity to win the championship. I really think with the right coaching and bringing some more players in that have the winning culture, I definitely think they can win a championship. But I'm not gonna be. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm not finna be a, a fan for six years and say, oh, like the like these Knicks fans, glorifying these old days. No, if y'all don't win a ship in the next two years, I'm trading teams. I don't know where because LeBron probably gonna be out. You know what I'm saying? He gonna be gone. So I'm gonna find a new team to cheer for. I live in Atlanta, so I might become a Atlanta Hawks fan. You never know. Um, but. I, I think that they the Sixers really need to consider doing some of the, because they should be embarrassed right now. They should really be embarrassed because they let a lot of key players walk, like Jimmy Butler and uh, J.J. Reddick and Boban. You know, those players helped make them better, and they thought they could do it without them. And now, like, looking at where Embiid is, it's like, how, it's like a bad relationship. After you, people have done what they've done, how do you come back? And it's like Embiid needs to be moved up to another level because he average, he still averaged 30 in the playoffs. And they saying that wasn't enough. That man did – he's not a, a point guard or anything else so that's going to bring the ball up to court. So he's not – he has to be fed the ball to be activated, right? So I think they need to clear office and start over or let Embiid go somewhere else, right? Uh, but the main topic we are here for is I think – Paul George is better at the third option. I'm going to tell you why. Uh, we've seen Paul George uh, play for the Pacers at the number one. Didn't get anything, didn't get anything done. Uh, they will say, well, he was going up against LeBron, but Paul George still had a nice little team around him. There's no cap on that, right? So he, if they won a few games, I think some of the series went to six and seven. You had a chance. You didn't come through. Uh, then he moved him to 
the thunder as a number two. We've seen how he activated as a number two. And he still has so many inconsistencies. So we can see that he, why he couldn't be a number one. Because the number two is supposed to cover everything the number one isn't able to do. So he couldn't do that for Russell Westbrook. So now let's fast forward to the Clippers. His shooting percentage is down. His attempts and makes are far, far in between of being close together. And he's not, he, he, he's a liability. He's not making shots. He's letting his, uh, the person he's holding score on him. And he's just not playing good. And so years ago, he was, I thought, you know, he was playoff P and that didn't pan out. And right now it's panning out that he needs to be a third option because his numbers, a lot of people go by analytics. Paul George's numbers say he should be a third option now, right? And which is crazy because he's still young and has some more career to go, but his, he plays like a third option, which is okay. But the money he's getting paid isn't enough but I think he has a two-year contract and you know I think after the contract he will be forced to be a two or three option uh nobody thinks that he's a one option unless you put him on a team that knowingly probably won't go anywhere uh and be back in the lottery um so I definitely think Paul George uh and is definitely a third option because even in the overtime he didn't score he let Kawhi take all the shots and the one bucket he did score uh that was a layup assisted by Kawhi <laughs> so uh he's not playing up to his role his pay or his position and so I definitely think Paul George should be a third option hey thank y'all for tuning in to the no pressure sports talk show like comment subscribe let it let me know uh who y'all going for in the playoffs um what y'all think about Paul George being a third option? Where, what do y'all think the Sixers should do with Joel L. Embiid or what they should do as an organization? And uh, how far do you think the Celtics is going to go? So let us know. Comment, like, subscribe. Find you, be you, love you. The only way is the way we live. And that's my lifestyle. So take it easy. 2020. We doing it again. It's crazy. 227. They ain't going to stop us though. We ain't gonna let him. Let's go. Whoa. Whoa, fist in the air. Out past curfew, cause we don't care. Six feet distance, nigga, don't play. Niggas get gone like each and every day. I'm supposed to be numb.